Good day. In this video, we're going to do a few common fraction minus sums. The first question says simplify. So we have 4 over 7 minus 3 over 7. So it's 4 sevenths minus 3 sevenths. To minus common fraction sums, you need to make the denominators the same. You must make the bottoms the same. In this case, they are the same. Then you write down the denominator and you minus the numerators. 4 minus 3 gives us 1. Final answer, 1 seventh. Next one, 3 quarters minus 4 tenths. First, we must make the denominators the same. In the beginning, we write down the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And then the multiples of 10. 10, 20. Until we get a common multiple. Then you make both the bottoms, the both the denominators, 20. Then you ask, with what do I times 4 over here to get to 20? And that is times 5. Then you also times the 3 by 5. What you do at the bottom, you do at the top. 3 times 5 gives you 15 at the top. So 3 quarters is the same as 15 over 20. Then you ask, with what do I times this 10 to get to 20? It is times 2. Then you also times 2 at the top. And 4 times 2 gives you 8. So 4 tenths is 8 twentieths. Now the bottoms are the same. The denominators are the same. We write down the denominator once. And then we minus the numerators from each other. 15 minus 8 gives us 7. 7 twentieths is my answer. So 3 quarters minus 4 tenths is 7 twentieths. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Next sum, you have 9 over 13 minus 9 over 26. First, we must get the denominators the same. We must make the bottoms the same. In the beginning, we write down the multiples of 13 is 13, 26, and so on. The multiples of 26 is 26, 52, and so on. We keep going until we get a common denominator. Lowest common multiple of these two denominators. Then you make both the denominators 26. You make both the bottoms 26. Then you ask, what do I times by 13 to get to 26? It is times 2. Then you times 2 at the top, and 9 times 2 is 18. So 9 over 13 is 18 over 26. And this one's already 9 over 26. And the bottoms are the same. You write the bottom down once, and then you minus the numbers at the top. 18 minus 9 is 9. Final answer, 9 over 26. One third minus four over thirty. First, we make the bottoms the same. We make the denominators the same. In this case, we will make them both thirty. You ask with what do you times three to get to thirty? Three times ten will give me thirty. So one times ten will give me ten. So one third is ten over thirty. Minus four over thirty. We write the bottom down once, and we minus. The numerators, 10 minus 4 is 6. When we finished, we see if we can simplify this. We can divide 6 in here and 6 in here. 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 30 divided by 6 is 5. 6 over 30 is 1 over 5. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. Sometimes there is more than one way to do the same question. First, we're going to do it what we advise you to do and then there's a shortcut some people might use. It says here 2 over 8 minus 1 over 4. First you want to make the denominators the same, the bottoms. You write the multiples of 8, 8, 16 and so on. Multiples of 4, 4, 8. There is the lowest common multiple. Make both the bottoms 8. This one is 2 eighths already. Here you ask what am I times 4 to get to 8? 4 times 2 is 8. And then also times 2 at the top. That gives you 2 eighths. 2 eighths minus 2 eighths is zero. When you do any calculations with fractions, it's sometimes possible to simplify one of your fractions, like this one. This 2 over 8 I can write in a simpler form. If you divide the 2 by 2, you're going to get a 1, and the 8 going to divide by 2 gives you a 4. So 2 eighths is also 1 quarter. Minus this quarter also gives us zero. So two different techniques. We advise you to use this technique rather. Next question, 2 over 3 minus 6 over 18. 
First, we make the bottoms the same. We will make both the bottoms 18. To ask, what are you times 3 to get to 18? 3 times 6 gives me 18. What I do at the bottom, I do at the top. 2 times 6 gives me 12 over 18. Minus 6 over 18. Now the bottoms are the same. Write the denominator down once and minus the numerators. Answer 6 over 18. Then you ask, can I simplify this? Yes, you can divide 6 by 6 gives you 1. Divide 18 by 6 gives you a 3. So 6 over 18 is 1 over 3. Rather use this method, but there is another one. This 2 over 3 minus 6 over 18. I can simplify this 6 over 18 first. So we can keep the 2 over 3, 2 thirds, minus, and then we simplify this and write it here. You can divide 6 by 6, as long as you also divide the bottom by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So now we have 2 thirds minus 1 third. Here my bottoms are the same already, so I can write it down, and then 2 minus 1 is 1. Final answer, 1 third, the same as here. Here is two more sums. Stop the video and try and do it yourself. Then put on the video again and see what we did. You can choose any method that suits you, as long as you get the same answer as us. Please stop the video and see if you understood what happened here. The last two sums for this video is for grade 5 and higher. Got 2 thirds minus 2 fifths. You have to make the bottoms the same. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. Both the bottoms will become 15. You ask what do I times 3 to get to 15? That's times 5. Also times 5 at the top. 2 over 3 becomes 10 over 15. Then you ask 5 times what will give you to 15? 5 times 3, so then I times 3 at the top 2. Gives you a 6, so 2 fifths is 6 over 15. Of course the denominators are the same, I write it down once and I minus the numerators. 10 minus 6 is 4, final answer 4 over 15. Last question, 3 quarters minus a half minus 1 fifth. First we want to make the denominators the same. We write down the multiples of 2, 4, and 5. But the multiples of 4 is already the multiples of 2. Get your head around that. The lowest common multiple of 4 and 5 will be 20. So we change them all to 20ths. Put the lowest common multiple at the bottom, which is 20. You say, what do you times 4 to get to 20? That is 5. And you also times 5 at the top. Gives you 15 over 20. What do you times 2 to get to 20? 2 times 10, then you times 10 at the top 2, you get 10 over 20. And you ask, what do I times 5 to get to 20? 5 times 4 is 20, I also times by 4 at the top, 1 times 4 is 4 over 20, is 1 over 5. Because the bottoms are the same now, I write down the bottom once, and I minus the numbers at the top, the numerators. 15. Minus 10 is 5, minus 4 is 1. Final answer, 1 over 20. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into a common fraction minus problem that you have trouble solving, you can send a clear picture to this number, a clear picture of where you tried it. We will try and solve the problem and send back an answer as soon as possible.